Hello students, good day. I'm teacher Alvin and I will be your teacher for today's online class. For today, I will be teaching you the subject science. And let's start first with our vocabulary. Let's start first with our first vocabulary. Lake. 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 Now, let's spell the word lake. It's L-A-K-E. Lake. Great job. Our second vocabulary is puddles. 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 Now, let's spell the word puddles. It's P. U D D L E S Puddles Very good And our third vocabulary word is Rivers 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 Now let's spell the word Rivers It's R I V E R S Rivers Very good Let's recall one more time our three vocabularies Our first vocabulary is Lake 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 Next is the word Puddles, puddles, puddles. And our third and last vocabulary word is rivers, rivers, rivers. Very good. Now we're ready to proceed to our topic. And today's topic is. Where do living things find water? Again, can we read it one more time? Where do living things find water? Always remember that we have three examples of living things. We have your humans, animals, and Plants. These are your three examples of living things. But the question is, where do living things find water? Let's start first with plants. Where do plants find their water? For us to understand our topic, Let's identify first the parts of the plants. And here is the parts of the plants. Let's start first with the roots. Second, we have your stem. Third, we have your leaves. And lastly, we have your flower. Plants find water in the soil. A plant's roots take the water from the soil and move it up the stem to the leaves. Next, where do animals find their water? Animals cannot take water from the soil. But animals can move to find water. Animals move to places where there is water, just like puddles, lakes, and rivers. And always remember, water is important to all living things, because without water, all the living things will going to die because of dehydration. 
Now, we're ready to answer your activity. Please don't forget to print your activity or you can just kindly write it on your notebook. Your first activity is this. Where do animals find water? Enumerate three examples below. Again, where do animals find water? Enumerate three examples below. Next activity is identification. What part of the plants absorb water from the soil? Again, what part of the plants absorb water from the soil? Your last activity is yes or no. The question is, all living things can move to places to find water. Is it yes or no? Again, all living things can move to places to find water. Is it yes or no? Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something new today. And please don't forget to wear your mask regularly and wash your hands often. Stay safe. And again, this is Teacher Alvin, and see you soon. Bye!